Park, those towering mountains, some of them were snow capped, they had glaciers. Took a bus, went for miles up on the mountain. I don't know how far winding around, but we got up there. Then we walked up on the glacier, seen the water coming out of the, the ice, crystal blue, beautiful blue, baby blue color. I stood there and I realized how far we had come up the mountain and we wasn't halfway up it hardly and still it towered up above me big glaciers coming down and I stood there looking at that majestic thing and the thought come to me Tim it would take the rest of your life you probably wouldn't in a lifetime with your situation, your ability, get over this mountain. If it would, it'd take days, months, maybe it'd take a whole summer for me trying struggling one step at a time, cliffs that are impossible, climbing, whatever. It was, un it was impossible. And I looked at that great mountain towering over me and wondered at its majestic peace, how it would look to be able to look down upon them. Just a couple of days later, we flew out of Edmonton. And as we flew, we had to fly over Calgary, down over Banff. And, the, and there I was in a cushioned seat, an air conditioned, without a struggle. And the pilot comes on and said, if you look over to your right, you can look down over the mountains at Banff. And I looked over at that impossible mountain that I was not able to climb up. 
that it would have been impossible for me to ever get over it. And there on the wings of that airplane, I sat in comfort and looked down on this, what was a lofty piece. And now it was just only a mohill. I crossed it with ease because I went on the wings. What's your need and what's your cry? What's your mountain much too high? Speak the word of God and by and by it will move or you will fly. <laughs> Something's going to happen to it. You're getting over it. That's the word of the Lord to you tonight. You're getting over it. You're rising above it. Amen. It may look too high. It may look too big. It may look impossible. But I'm telling you tonight, the winds of the Holy Spirit is here to lift you on eagle's wing. Give me that next verse and let's read it now. Amen. What's the eagle in the sky? He does not struggle. He does not strive. For the power that makes him rise is already in the sky. Amen. Oh, church tonight, that power is already there for you. Amen. Let's sing that second and third verse again now. Worship the Lord. What's your need? And what's your cry? What's your mountain? Oh, yes. Is it much too high? What are you going to do? Speak the word of God. That's you. And by and by, hey, my. it will, will move. move. Or you're going to fly. Or you will fly. So set your wings to the winds of faith. That was right to them, but you can fly hey, in a higher place. I don't struggle. Everybody just set your wings now. Hallelujah. 